This is a brief overview of the EOS RAT developed by Electromechanical Design Company. In this I'll go over the background, an introduction to the EOS RAT, the application to FAA requirements of 25-1709, and how Electromech's new project with the FAA, the Art Damage Modeling Tool, will be integrated into future editions of the EOS RAT. Just a brief overview of Electromech's history. It was started back in 1980 by Dr. Armin Bruning with the primary focus of aging and arc track testing of mil w81381 also known as polyimid wire analysis techniques were developed by electromech and among these was the WIDIS, the wire insulation deterioration assessment system the inherent viscosity system which was actually developed by dupont but is exclusively licensed to electromech the del test which is an in-situ testing method to detect insulation breaches of wiring and Electromech also performs arc track testing. Recently, pr the primary focus of Electromech has been on the EOS Risk Assessment Tool, or the EOS RAT. The EOS RAT started back in 2001, supported by the FAA Tech Center to develop basic concepts and risk assessment techniques for EOS. During the original development, Cessna aided Electromech in the development of the EOS RAT. A follow on contract was initiated in 2005 for further development of the EOS RAT. This allowed for more advanced and more detailed analysis to be done of EOS data and for easier importation of design information. That project concluded in 2007. Currently, Electromech is working with the FAA Tech Center in the development of an arc damage modeling tool. When completed, it is expected that the arc damage modeling tool will be integrated into the EOS RAT. Electromech independent of the FAA has continued in the application and development of the EOS RAT and is now performing an implementation study. EOS RAT is a software tool designed to bridge the gap between engineering and system safety analysis and facilitate compliance to the new rules including 25-1709. An additional goal of the EOS RAT is to provide an EOS database that is useful in both the manufacturing and post-manufacturing processes. In order to do this, the EOS RAT brings together three different data sets. The EOS architecture, which can be found in circuit design and routing. The structure of aircraft safety analysis, such as fault trees and CMAs, or common mode analyses. And lastly, failure rate and damage potential databases. These will be described later. Seen here is the EOS RAT flow chart information, such as circuit diagrams, wire cut lists, system and subsystem data and 3D CAD models are important to the EOS RAT, allowing for our analysis of the EOS. Some of the reports that can be generated by the EOS RAT include the aging model, bundle section report, co-location report, damage potential report, and failure matrix report. Some of these will be described later. In addition to the reports just mentioned, the EOS RAT has a number of tools which can help engineers analyze EOS. Seen here is the 25-1709 flowchart, which shows the breakdown of the EOS analysis. The left side of the chart focuses on the physical effects, while the right side focuses on the system effects of wire failure. The EOS RAT provides reports and analyses to cover all aspects of this chart. The EOS RAT does not directly affect the AFHA. However, the safety structure that has begun to be developed here is brought into the EOS RAT after it's flushed out in the SFHA, PSSA, and SSA processes. Some of the components that are brought into the EOS model include wire segment data, including the termination points, the type of specification that the wire is, and the particular system that the wire is a part of, whether the wire is associated with the braking system, the FADEC, or environmental controls. Other EOS components that are imported into the EOS RAT include connector information, the ref des and specification of the connectors. The specification information provides a means for the EOS RAT to generate bent pin analyses reports and information such as the power bus data. And lastly, if the wire is part of a special category, such as if the wire is designated as an SVAR88 wire. In addition to the, this information, installation criteria defined by the FAA regulatory authorities or part of an OEM's design specification can be integrated into the EOS RAT. As mentioned previously, the EOS RAT can import in wire information. Modern circuit design drawing systems provide mechanisms to dump wire data to text files. This information can be imported directly into the EOS RAT. All of the wire information, including termination points, wire insulation, conductor, and wire gauge can be imported into the EWIS RAT. 
In order to understand the flow of the power and fault information through the aircraft and through the wiring systems, Electromech developed special terminology in order to handle this. The US RAD subroutines analyze the wire table and create circuit elements, which are a series of wire segments connected together, such as through connectors, circuit element families, which are groups of circuit elements which are connected through switches or relays. In this case, wires are not actually always connected together in the case of a switch, but can be connected together if the position of the switch is changed. And lastly, circuit element controls, circuit elements that control other circuit elements, such as relay coils. In this wire schematic, we see a wire coming from a circuit breaker. This is highlighted in red. All the wire segments which are connected directly to this wire segment are also highlighted in red. If one wire segment here is energized, all the wires highlighted in red are energized. This circuit element reaches a relay and it's connected to two other circuit elements through this relay. By propagating all this information through the wiring system, the EWIS-RAD is able to determine system effects and propagate wire failure information through the EWIS. In addition to wire information being integrated into the EWIS, the power information, including the power bus and circuit protection data, is also entered into the EWIS-RAD. Power Information is then propagated through the circuit elements and circuit element families to provide information about where power is in the system, allowing for damage potential models to be generated later in the process. EWIS failure effects. There are tools to assist creating a wire FMEA using circuit element and circuit element family concepts. The FMEA can then be turned into an FMES, and the FMES items can be inserted directly into system fault trees. The US RAT provides a methodology to directly do this. Seen here is one of the output sheets provided by the EUS RAT. A particular wire is selected and all of the wire segments that are directly connected to it, which are defined as part of its circuit element, are listed immediately below it. Those wires which are defined as part of the circuit element family are listed in the block below. This allows for a systematic process for a system safety engineer to define the failure modes of each of the wires. This allows for a consistent propagation of failure definitions throughout the system. This information can then be collected together into an FMES. Seen here, we see the fault and all the wire segments and failure mechanisms which create that fault. Up to this point, all the information that's in the EOS RAD only focuses on the wires. It doesn't specify where the wires are in the aircraft or where they are in relation to other systems. This is rectified by allowing the EOS RAD to integrate in the 3D harness models created in the OEM's design. Typically, the routing of wire harnesses in aircraft design models is rather bulky with a lot of branching. In order to properly define the routing of the wires within the aircraft, it must be broken up into smaller areas, which the EOSRAC calls bundle sections. The bundles are broken up into bundle sections, which is defined as a length of harness in which no wires enter or leave, and the environmental conditions within this harness remain constant, such as if you go from the wing into a pressurized cabin, this will require a different bundle section to be defined. Bundle sections then can be terminated at a connector, or where two or more bundle sections interact, which is called a bundle intersection. By applying these definitions to the wiring harnesses, bundle section and intersection data can be defined from CAD models and be integrated into the EWIS RAT. Seen here is an example of the bundle section and connector information for a small aircraft. By integrating in the harness information and breaking it into bundle section information and the wireless data, this can be combined in order to route the wire throughout the aircraft. Individual wire segments are then routed through a series of bundle sections and intersections. Seen here in yellow, one wire is run from JA102 to PC038. This runs through a number of bundle sections and intersections until it reaches its final destination. To ensure the consistency of the routing in the model, the results can be compared against cut lengths and any variations can be evaluated. Additionally, because failure effects are associated with the wires, the failure effects of these wires can also be visualized through the aircraft. We see here the fault defined as EWIS-014, which is a loss of power to brake control, runs in several bundle sections. This can also be used as a means of evaluating overlap between multiple failures.